I also learned that you and I both have something else in common. Do you love cleaning? I am a compulsive cleaner when really? I am, yeah, when I'm emotionally delicate balance. If I'm in a healthy mood, I can live with chaos. If I am upset about something, I have to clean. I totally agree. I remember that your head is as messy as your room is was something I heard once. And I do think that cleanliness is next to godliness. There is a spirituality. There is an order, something you can control. The end result is so beautiful. I, I loved hearing that you liked cleaning. Um, now, I want to talk about your new show, Mr. Mayor. How is the show going? And I have to ask you also, if you like, would you ever run for mayor in real life? Let's start with the simple, simple one. <laughs> no friggin' way would I run for any office ever. No, no, I, uh, I have to take a vote to cross the street. So no, I'm not your guy. Uh, but the show, I love the show. This is, this is not a political show. It's really a workplace comedy, but Tina Fey and Robert Carlock have such an amazing pedigree as writers that it was just irresistible to me. And then Holly Hunter, Bobby Moynihan, Kyla Kennedy, Mike Heberlund, and Bella Lavelle. I mean, they are astounding. I uh, mean, yeah. it really is like the A-list team, but that's what you had on Cheers. That's what you had on Good Place. You always know how to surround yourself with such extraordinary people, and it just works. People love it. Yes, yes, and I, and I have to say, I don't surround myself. I, I'm lucky enough to pick amazing writers who then cast so brilliantly. Um, I, I'm just, you know, I'm the last line on Cheers for my character was, I'm the luckiest son of a bitch in the world. That was Sam Malone's last line on Cheers. And that's definitely uh, a great phrase for my career. You know, I am so blessed with good writing and very creative people and actors and is it true that also you have a unique bedtime routine? Uh, uh, oh, well, yes, and I know you have photo proof. Bless Mary's heart. This is a testimony to how much she loves me. Um, yeah, it started off with I uh, injured my neck, so I couldn't lie in bed and watch TV because you know it would crank my neck down and hurt, and my hands would get um, painful. So first, I had to find these kind of mitts that you wear, you know, to sleep in so that your hands are like this and they don't hurt at night. And then uh, I would love to watch TV in bed with Mary, but I, I couldn't. Then I thought there must be a solution. So I went online and found these kind of periscope glasses where you can lie flat and still see. There you are. Wait, there I what? Am. I look like a ninja with uh, with night goggles on. That's what my wife goes to sleep looking at. Oh That's love. my God, I've never seen anything like that. You might have just changed my life. I think I'm gonna go procure a pair of those today.